So you've seen that video that the Prime Minister's office has put out. It's incredible because it gives away a lot and yet it doesn't give away a lot. And that full episode is going to come up in a couple of days from now. But some of the gamers who were in that lucky group that got to meet and spend time with the Prime Minister are with me live today to talk about that experience. And remember, uh, the people I have with me here on India Today are no small fry. They're some of the most sought after, most followed, most respected gamers in the country who were handpicked to meet the Prime Minister and talk about something that's called gaming, but it's a very serious business. Animesh Agarwal, also going by the name 8-Bit Thug, Payal Dhare, Payal Gaming, and Anshu Bisht, Gamer Fleet, are three of the several gamers uh, who were part of that interaction with the Prime Minister. We will have Mithilesh Patankar or Mithpat with us also in just a few minutes from now. Welcome, guys. Good to have you here on India today. Payal, I'll kick it off with you. I want to know how it all started. You know, everyone's very, very pleased with this video. It's it's fabulous seeing gamers interacting with the Prime Ministers. Log bol rahe ki, you know, you know, who does the Prime Minister not meet? He's met gamers also <laughs> now. But first, tell us how it all started, Payal. I started when I was in college and uh, I used to play with my friends. They told me to start a YouTube channel, uh, do like uh, make videos and something. But I was not sure about that. Uh, but initially it uh, it went out well and uh, I became a streamer and mm. I started uploading more videos, doing live streams and COVID helped me a lot. And meeting the Honorable Prime Minister is the biggest thing. Uh, it's <laughs> actually so, so real. I can't explain in words. And Still, I can't believe that it actually happened. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was actually unbelievable. Okay, it's unbelievable. And, you know, I, I want to tell all of our viewers, you know, because I, I don't want to assume that all of our viewers know everything about gaming. Many of them may not know. Like, let me tell you that India has the largest gaming base on the planet. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Animesh, largest gaming base on the planet. So I'm actually not surprised. That the Prime Minister called you guys. But I want to know how it happened. How were you guys handpicked? Let me also tell all of our viewers that each of these guys, Animesh, Payal, Mithilesh and Anshu, they have hundreds of thousands of millions of followers on social media. So it's not that they're just some random gamers on the street. These guys are, these guys are the patron saints of gaming in India. Anshu, how did it all start? How did it all start with this interaction with the Prime Minister? Thank you so much, Arusa, for having us here. And uh, it was actually a privilege to be there. I never thought that we would uh, we would meet the Prime Minister of India, the global <laughs> yeah. power himself. Uh, it was it was really surreal. I was I was about to faint when he entered the room. To be honest, <laughs> uh, till uh, till he didn't sit down with us, I was like, this is not real. We are mm -hmm. like because we are like we have worked very hard to get here. No no doubts in that. Uh, See, I've worked a lot, but uh, the thing that you get to like many people have worked hard, but not everyone gets a chance to meet the prime minister. And yeah. it was really good. And he was very, uh, how can I say this? Very uh, insightful of gaming as well. And mm. being no disrespect, but uh, being of his age, he was really, uh, you know, uh, ready to learn uh, about gaming. And even he knew a lot of things that uh, that we were supposed to teach him he was teaching us instead L like so, what like what like what so so we taught him uh, so we tried to uh, teach them a word uh, so uh, this is uh, gaming lingo like mm. we say afk noob and everything so uh, when we tried to teach him like grind uh, i tried <laughs> he so knew all he, these words he already knew it <laughs> so uh, it was really surreal amazing uh, Animesh, another word that we saw that was used in this video was, uh, you know, OP or OP, Namo OP or OP. Boss, I, before this broadcast, even I didn't know what that stood for. <laughs> in fact, one of my producers had to Google it and then she told me that it is for overpowered. Explain why you said Namo OP. Tell us why, Animesh. Yeah, actually, this is what this interview has done. It has brought gaming to mainstream and that is why, you know, everyone it has become the talk of the country today. And I believe that uh, when we speak of our prime minister, the head of the state, obviously the 
overpowered person who is leading the country right now so i believe i had to bring it to his notice one of our gaming lingos that resonates really well with his personality and the position what does it means. mean what and does that, overpowered mean in overpowered gaming means and like supreme powerful that? that's it uh, because oh, okay. for us in gaming it's like someone who is a really skilled and a great player or uh, one of the uh, features in the game that's really overpowering everyone else in the game and that is what the state uh, you know the head of our state is doing right now bringing india to the forefront globally and everything that's been done so definitely an overpowered number like I, like i was saying in the clip see you know see modi is very comfortable with young people ek to ye baat hai you know nobody ever sees any kind of discomfort or you know uh, uh, he, he you know he, his age does not show when he is with youngsters because he actually likes spending time with youngsters mithilesh did you also feel that maybe you were little bit nervous initially ki are prime minister hai wo to 70s mein hai you know he's such a big guy yeah, you know and i'm i'm going to meet I him mean, but i am sure that i am sure him. that within the first 30 seconds you didn't feel his age at all exactly like when we went there like we were obviously a little scared and all because yeah this was the first time such a big opportunity we got and uh, as soon as we entered the room and we were just sitting there waiting for him and then he came <laughs> and we all were honestly like very shocked like i think it, it took like almost like 5 to 10 minutes we were just absorbing that okay wait is this real like is this happening and <laughs> yeah, guys okay yeah. are we meeting not only one of the most important man in india but like globally so yeah. it was it was an insane experience like this is something i'm going to tell my grandchildren and going to be crazy like <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy. You know, I I loved one comment in this video where it said that yeah even my father has not gotten used to gaming as fast as as, as Modi has actually yeah. done it. Payal Payal in this very short tra- trailer you know we actually see Modi doing a lot of things. वो वो headset पहनते हैं उसके बाद वो mobile पे खेलते हैं उसके बाद something else you know all sorts of cool tech stuff. How good was Modi at those games? Payal did he take to it easily? Was he good? Uh. So when we started playing the VR game, we uh, Animesh was uh, teaching him how to move the hands, how to uh, uh, like uh, crash those boxes. And once he just uh, grabbed those uh, VR sets, he started doing it by his. Uh, uh, he started doing by him uh, his himself. And mm. then when we switched to the PC, we played the game Raji, and mm-hmm. we didn't need need to explain him anything. He was going like using all the keys, using the mouse properly, using the mic, the calls, and everything. Then when he he played on the phone, it was also very good. Like he played like a pro player, and we use the yeah. terms like OP, you are a pro player. <laughs> and when we having the conversation, uh, when we having the conversation on the table, he said, "Mere to maine baal color kiye hue, main sab aapke age ka hi hu, ispe mere baalo pe mat jana." So it was a very Very fun conversation uh, at the start. I was very nervous, but uh, within the time, his aura, his presence is very different in person, and he become very friendly, uh, friendly with us. Like he was talking like we are friends from so long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Animesh, Animesh, you know, you made him play with that VR headset and all those things. You know, it's not easy. Let's face it, gaming. You know, gaming. you know it is called gaming it is about games and stuff but it's not easy it needs a certain level of skill it needs a certain level of getting used to it uh, you know most people even young people when they start playing games wo thoda time lagta hai are you telling me that modi just took to it like a fish to water he was yeah, playing I mean, games like, like- I mean, like when you have a all-rounder prime minister, what else do you expect? You know, he has everything under his sleeve. He knows he has, like you said, it requires skill, and that's what he's all about mm. skill. And he could grasp it really well. I mean, like I recall just teaching him once. That's how you had, need to just move your right hand here and left hand. Then he could just understood at once. And I think he had a, a good, decent score that I won't reveal now. Uh, but then mm. when the video comes out, I'm pretty sure viewers should be excited to see. Uh, but yes, obviously, you know, he has grasp of things. Uh, very knowledgeable, very insightful. Uh, you know, and like he knows things that's the best part you know I, as mm. a young entrepreneur as a young gamer when i was speaking to him i realized that there's so many things to learn from him uh, rather than teaching him so i think it was yeah. a very mixed session of sharing uh, his experiences knowledge and our part of gaming uh, industry you know you know modi uh, narendra modi for for many years has been very interested in new technologies you know learning things that are outside his comfort zone he's always demonstrated that he you know uh, he he's not scared of exploring new things and you know what can be more new or different from his sphere of work than gaming and young people and stuff and he spends a lot of re- uh, time with young people anshu what were the things that the prime minister said to you guys about the gaming industry kya sawal puche what questions did he ask that made you guys think ki you know the prime minister knows about gaming he wants to do something for us 
so uh, i cannot reveal the whole interview here that we had with prime minister sir like the discussion <laughs> we had <laughs> you'll see it in the video for sure but uh, it was really insightful to be honest like uh, before the before the discussion and everything i was very nervous i was uh, as i told you i was about to faint and it was <laughs> i mean many people will think i'm just making stuff up like saying are i will i was actually about to faint i'm not going to lie and mm. everyone around me comforted me uh, the po uh, the pmo people they comforted mm. me they said ki he is really chill with uh, teenagers and uh, uh, guys of your age but uh, you know he is the prime minister of india so <laughs> you'll be nervous in his presence of course but yes uh, but when he came in we were nervous for 5 minutes at max mm. Mm. then uh, when sir started talking to us and uh, the way the way he said things the way he uh, took our consideration uh, our things in consideration as well then he asked us many things which were very uh, interesting to be honest you'll see it in the uh, <laughs> video in the full sure. episode <laughs> yeah in the full episode uh, but yes it was really insightful and uh, very fun very fun yeah you know uh, mithilesh uh, lots of fun obviously in this video bahut masti hua you know that's very very visible the gaming and the you know the fun things but this is also a very serious thing you know the prime minister yeah. reaching out to you guys is also a very serious yeah. thing right he's the yeah. prime minister and uh, the fact that he has hand picked uh, you guys obviously means that he also wants to learn something and also wants to know wh- what he can do for you guys so what Correct. did you tell Correct. him what did you guys tell him mithilesh So I think like uh, I'm I'm very happy about this that the the gaming industry will be taken like se- very very seriously right now because mm. like as Animesh also said in the video that I think the Indian gaming industry peaked at this point because it's insane mm. how the prime minister has addressed gaming and gaming issues like we discussed about a lot of gaming problems and how do we take India's gaming industry forward like for example this one thing we spoke about during the interview was. okay how do we you know promote indian game developers and what kind of games do we make in india so that we inspire yeah. you instead of you know not just including those action games where there there's only violence etc what kind of games can we make here in india which can also mm. teach youth and inspire you so i really like mm. that point mm. no no that's a very very interesting point and he also uh, you know i think in the trailer there's a little bit of an indication of that pile about you know that whole gaming versus gambling wala jo jo jo, jo debate chal raha hai usme bhi the prime minister brought it up and he asked you guys that that's a very important thing because india mein sometimes you know perce- there are so many perceptions i'll come to i'll come to what the prime minister has done for the world of gaming in just a moment but pile that question that the prime minister asked on you know gaming versus gambling explain that to us and tell us what you said uh yeah that question was raised by our pm but animesh mm. answered it very well and he knows um like more about gaming and gambling the difference between and he can explain much better than me i guess Okay Animesh you want to answer that gaming versus gambling the prime minister you know had done his homework and he asked you that question Exactly I think you know he did his homework and it was a very interesting and a question right uh, I would say at Bullseye I believe that it's all about perception like you mentioned I think uh, it's more about uh, educating the masses that what mm. we are doing the way we are playing games the way we are representing India in esports tournaments the way gaming has become a part of uh, events like Asian Games Commonwealth and soon uh, in Olympics as well I think this is the perception that people need to understand that gaming mm. has a long long uh has a very big industry and there are many caveats and verticals to it and the gaming and the part of the vertical that we represent has no i would say i won't say has nothing bad to it but is one of the very great and promising uh professions that would uh, you know bring i would say empower the youth in coming years in india so i think that is the yeah. main uh, difference that you know the pa- gaming in pa- the part of the gaming industry that we represent has mm. too so much to it that the youth should embrace and uh, the perception of the masses need to change You know one of the great things about gaming right now is and correct me if I'm wrong Anshu which is that you know for for many years you know your generation has made gaming in many ways a respectable viable you know profession you can do it full time like all of you guys are in the previous generations gaming was looked at very suspiciously yeah ye ye to full time kaam nahi ho sakta hai isme kya karoge you know people looked at it with little bit of suspicion also ki kya ye gaming hai ya gambling hai today by the prime minister actually calling you guys and putting the spotlight on the industry 
वो एक 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 वैलिडेशन मिल गया है आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट यू गाइस आई एम नॉट सेइंग यू गाइस नीड एनी वैलिडेशन बिकॉज़ यू गाइस हैव प्रूवन विद योर अमेजिंग वर्क दैट नोबडी कैन गिव यू गाइस एनी सर्टिफिकेट्स आई एम जस्ट सेइंग दैट बाय स्पेंडिंग दिस टाइम एंड कॉलिंग द काइंड ऑफ नेशनल अटेंशन टू गेमिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज गिवन अ काइंड ऑफ वैलिडेशन वुड यू एग्री विद मी फॉर श्योर फॉर श्योर पीएम हैज गिवन अस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड लाइक just saying that all of us gamers were there in a round table uh, with mm. our prime minister was uh, really a big thing and for sure it was a validation see uh, where i come from i i am from a very <coughs> humble background so my father used to be a bus conductor and like uh, we had like there were financial problems as well so yeah. when i was when i was doing youtube i was gaming and i'm i'm pretty damn sure that most of the people here have gone through uh, such situations so when i when i used to stream and game uh, like uh, make videos of games so my father used to think that what is he doing he is shouting at the computer whole day so i had to do a lot of jobs and everything with that but uh, see after i made it after i uh, after i started you proved your money, you proved your point yes 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 after i proved my point my father and everyone was happy but i had to prove my parents a point uh, and it took around 5 years for me i have been in this industry for almost 7 years and more but I, but it took me 5 years to uh, like at least prove a point that yes i can earn from it i can make a decent living and everything but uh, see uh, honorable prime minister sir with just one meeting with us have proved this point to many household for sure he has uh, he has validated our point very true because you know pa- parents yes. and families around the country anshu will also be seeing this saying are prime minister ne uh, 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 in uh, you know has met with these gamers and given them so much uh, you know respect and welcomed them into his home and spent time with him iska matlab hai ki shayad our perception is. about gaming is little wrong and we need to educate see, yourself see, but i we, want... we we as youtubers and gamers we don't we don't blame our parents or anyone's parent for not supporting us correct, while we correct, are doing correct. youtube and everything because they are from a era where they didn't even have phones cell phones to yeah, begin with yeah. see uh, and, and so you know i i actually i actually want to add to that anshu and then i'll go yes, to the others yes. once again which is you know uh, uh, narendra modi also comes from very humble origins you know when you said yes, your father yes. is a bus conductor yes. narendra modi used to sell chai on a railway station platform is the pradhan mantri of the country today did you feel yes. that kind of connect did you feel that kind of you know he has come from nothing and achieved so much yes 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 for sure for sure but see is the prime minister of india so when he sits next to you you feel the power like i maybe maybe people will think i'm exaggerating things but i hope you get like get this opportunity one day but when you do it will it's it will surreal I, 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 i hope so i hope so mithilesh you want to add to that the surreal yeah, yeah, experience I mean, I, and I, I like, the prime I minister like coming it. from nothing yeah 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 that that is obviously true but like i want to add to the point of anshu it's just like that experience that we had it's like uh so the room obviously was well lit and there were all these lights of cameras and everything but when he came inside the room it just felt like room mein ek aur light aa gayi hai it just felt like the room just became brighter i don't know for some reason it's the aura or something i don't know <laughs> it was great no no i i can totally imagine and you know the prime minister i've had some brief interactions with the prime minister it's very true he's very charming he's yeah. you know he's able to uh, you know and he uh, definitely uh, understands the youth and one you know one thing oh, yeah. i really oh, want yeah. to tell is that uh, when we were introducing ourselves like when he mm. came and he uh, he spoke to us for the first time and he was we were introducing ourselves animesh actually introduced himself and then he was talking for almost like 10 minutes and i was worried wait am i going to get a chance to actually tell about myself my story and you know because we had like limited time but he literally gave all of us equal amount of time and he spoke to us like like he gave us good good amount of time and heard our stories and then we moved on to the gaming segment and all of that so, so, so you know great. like I, i really liked the fact that he gave us time You know, it's very interesting, guys. Because now, now the election ka season is, and you know, the political rivals of Modi say, "Ye to bhashan dene me." Uh, you know, they, he likes giving speeches. He doesn't like listening. You, you guys are, you, you guys have had a different experience. He listened to each one of you. You are saying, Anshu, yeah, he sir. gives a lot of yes, time. Pile, pile, pile. I think, yeah. I think he yeah, listens sorry? when it's necessary. Yeah, yeah. And, pile, pile. Uh, yes. You will see when the whole episode will come out. He gave a lot of time to us, and he was like. 
हमें ऐसा लग रहा था कि हमारे साथ एक हमारा साथ का प्लेयर ही एक फ्रेंड ही है जो हमारे साथ गेम खेल रहा है इट डजेंट फेल्ट लाइक वी आर सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू द पी एम एंड टॉकिंग टू एंड प्लेइंग गेम्स विद हेम ऑल्सो ही रेज अ लॉट ऑफ पॉइंट्स फॉर द फीमेल गेमर्स एंड द फीमेल कम्युनिटी एंड ही या ही आज मी अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ फीमेल गेमर्स हाउस हाउस द एनवायरमेंट हाउस द इंडस्ट्री वर्किंग सो यू कैन सी अ लॉट ऑफ इनसाइट्स इन दैट एपिसोड एंड मोर ओवर आई कैन रिलेट अ लॉट एज यू सेट अबाउट द जर्नी ऑफ आर पी एम आई एम ऑल्सो फ्रॉम अ वेरी small town i'm from a very middle class family and uh, i don't have a brother and i am the one who runs the family so yeah it feels very great to be at this point and uh, being at the television being uh, sitting next to the pm and talking about my profession what i'm doing and uh, everybody is taking gaming very seriously and taking it as a profession now and i think jab hum log ne start kiya tha gaming ko bahut lightly liya jata tha because of the resources because resources bahut kam the internet nahi tha but within the time it raised and we have a good internet connection like cheaper internet and good devices cheapest everything. in the world cheapest yeah, internet right. in the world it's yes. crazy so, you know, I, i yeah please can com- complete your point pal yeah so i think uh, after the episode will come out the after the conversation a lot of emerging gamers will pursue this as a career and a lot of uh, new uh, upcoming gamers look look at us uh, lo- uh, look to up, uh, look to us and uh, they will feel that yeah we can do something out of it we can make something out of it and uh, they can show their families that agar ye log wahan pe pahunch sakte hai to hum log bhi apne gaming career mein kuch kar sakte hai you know what what you guys who met the prime minister have basically proven is that gaming is not a hobby gaming is not a pastime gaming is a career it's a profession you know you can yeah, forget about ind- being independent you can actually be very well off and live a lead a very very comfortable life uh, uh, you know by being a gamer and the four of you and the others who met the prime minister have proven that animesh before i come to you i want to just read out some you know some small statistics because hum validation ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain let me validate it a little bit more by telling you about some facts you guys obviously know this this is for my viewers india by the way is the largest gaming market in the world boasting a user base of at least 568 million gamers and over 9.5 billion gaming app downloads in the year 2023 uh, this is uh, according to a recent report published in a newspaper the gaming industry and hold your you know hold on to your seat belts for this viewer the gaming industry in india will almost double in value to 6 billion dollars 6 billion dollars by 2028 so you know lots of fun and games animesh you know hasi khel all that is fine but this is a huge business you know this is going to be a this is going to not only is it already part of india's economy but the potential for it to be a bigger part of the indian economy is even more so i am i am curious to know animesh what did you seek from the prime minister as gamers as part of the community and the industry aapne kya manga prime minister se ki kya kar sakte hain gamers ke liye definitely i had some concerns you know we do have concerns of, around the policy making and ease of business but definitely him being our prime minister he knows it all it was hmm. created i could enlighten him with some of technical problems but then you know just like how he is he obviously asked us to write to him eventually and then you know uh, present him with our problems and he did mention it here him and his entire team would think over it i believe there were some key issues that were raised which would definitely come out in the episode hmm. but yeah like with his open mindedness he wanted to hear us all out i'm going to leave it there for now because uh, i don't want to get into too many things so that you know the suspense of the wonderful episode is lost but i can tell you that i completely agree with all of you that uh, young indians watching watching this interview are going to think ki you know gaming is not a hobby i can do this you know if i'm good at something and i follow it with a certain degree of passion even if my parents don't particularly approve of it i can prove my point and actually follow it and what greater layer of respectability could there possibly be that prime minister modi himself inviting you all felicitating you all spending time with you all and of course being the namo op in front of you all mm-hmm. and in my view all of you are also uh, ops okay i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but That's OP. thank you guys thank you op 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 yeah. op yeah. not ops yeah. see yeah. This, this shows how out of touch i am with gaming but yeah op <laughs> sorry guys so yeah. it's animesh op payal op mithilesh op and anshu op thank you very very much for being with us here on india today guys thank you and all the very best and looking forward to hearing more from you guys well that's a wrap on this special broadcast with those gamers right here on india today thanks for watching the news continues on the other side